Hello and welcome to Flipped Maths with Mrs. D. Hoog. Today our topic is multiplication number patterns. And we are learning to describe number patterns that happen because of multiplication. And we're also learning to solve missing numbers in multiplication number patterns. Let's look at some background information to start off. Um, just a reminder that multiplication is the repeated addition of a number to itself a certain number of times as shown by another number. For example, 5 times 2 equals 10, um, which is the same as 2 lots of 5, which equals 10. And a number pattern is basically a sequence of numbers arranged according to a rule. Uh, for example, you can have number patterns that go up um, with addition. So you can have 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. So here, each time you are adding 2 to the previous one. So 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8. You can also have the subtraction ones. So you might start off with, uh, let's say, 10 and 8, 6, and so on. Each time you are taking 2. So 10 take away 2 is 8, 8 take away 2 is 6, and so on. That's what these little dots here mean. It just means the pattern continues, but we're only going to go up to this number here. Stop there. Um, but in year four, we are learning about number patterns that involve multiplication. Ah. <laughs> um, and so in year four, we look at number patterns that go like this. This is just moving on to some examples now. Um, so we have, for example, I'll just talk about this one actually. Easier. So we have um, a story. I'll actually just use this one that I've already prepared. Um, here we go. So for this one here, Jenny has $10. Her mum says that she will double her pocket money each week. How much pocket money will Jenny earn in week five? So I've already set it up here. It's basically saying the first week, or week one, I could write, um, she would earn $10. Then for the second week, or week two, she would earn $20 because it is doubling each time based on the previous number. So 10 times 2 is 20, 20 times 2 is 40. And then we, to figure out the fifth week, or week five, we just need to go on with the pattern and see what it ends up being. So 40 times 2 is 2 lots of 40. You can do it the repeated addition way. So 0 plus 0 is 0, 4 plus 4 is 8, so that next one would be 80, and then once again we times that by 2, 80 times 2 is 160, because 8 times 2 is 16, and we pop that 0 at the end, because we're multiplying. Um, and that would be what she would be earning, oh, a very um, big amount of pocket money. <laughs> Definitely did not earn that sort of pocket money when I was your age. Um, anyway, that's just an example question. I'll just go through a few others. Um, on the sheet here, feel free to pause the video and just read through some of them. I'll just go through um, another one on here. We've got the pattern. Um, basically, describe number patterns is our first goal or um, what we are learning to do. And that is going, well, what is it going up by? I've already got the answer here, which is going up by um, multiplying by 10 each time. You can actually use a calculator. And with this one here, you just need to go something, or 10 times something is 100. And so what you can do is you can just use division to help you out with that one. And go, well, if I had to go the other way, well, what's 100 divided by 10? And that will be what we're multiplying each time by. It'll make a bit more sense once I show you. So we would go 100, hopefully that's, there we go, divided by, 10 equals 10. And that's saying that each time you are multiplying the previous number by 10. And that's our pattern. So 100 times 10 is 1,000. 1,000 times 10 is 10,000. And so on. And I'll just go through the next one. This is our second goal, which is basically if you've got a pattern, uh, what is the missing number in the pattern? So to solve this one, you need to actually work out, well, what is it going up by each time? 
So here, I can actually go, well, I know 1 times 3 is 3. So 3 times 3 should equal 9. Yes. And then I'll figure out the missing number by going, well, 9 times 3 is 27. So that's my missing number. You're multiplying by 3 each time, and your answer is 27 is the missing number in that spot there. Um, please have a look at the other questions on this, or other examples on this sheet if you need some more help on that one. And so we're moving on to our homework sheet. This is just a little bit further away, make sure it's not getting too blurry. Um, first question, it says, look at the pattern 20, 200, 2000, 20,000. What is happening each time? This is describing the number patterns on this one here. So just a hint, all of these questions are multiplication. Uh, all these patterns are multiplication patterns. Um, yes. So what you need to do is you just need to have a go at working them out in the space provided on the sheet. Question two, look at the pattern. Five, 10, 20, 40, 80. What is happening each time? Remember to figure it out. You just go five times something is 10. In. Just a little hint to figure out the pattern. And you would just write it as times something, multiply by something. That's your pattern. And next one, solve missing numbers. So what is the missing number in this pattern here? 1, 5, 25, something, 625, 3,125, and so on. Remember, you can use your calculators on these questions. And the last one, look at the pattern. 3, 6, 12, something, 48, and so on. What is the missing number? you may use your calculator as well for that one. So please have a go, pause the video now, and you will get the answers very shortly. All right, so just get my answer sheet out. There we go. All right, so for the first one, the pattern, um, oh, I can leave the answers there, that's okay. Um, it's actually going up by tens because I know that to get from 20 to 200, to get from 20 to 200, there is simply just an extra zero at the end there, which means it's multiplying by 10. So we would go, that's a times by 10 pattern. This one here, this one, I know 5 times 2 is 10, 10 times 2 is 20, it's a times by 2 pattern. Please mark these questions as you go along. Then for here, look at the pattern, what's the missing number? I know that 1 times 5 is 5, 5 times 5 is 25, so it's a times by 5 pattern. And the missing number would be 25 times 5, and the answer is 125. And then here, look at the pattern, what's missing? For this one here, I just need to work out, well, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24. And they are your answers. Please remember to record real life applications on the homework sheet. Ooh, there we go. Um, this is just basically how does this topic relate to your life? Perhaps pocket money? <laughs> um, questions or comments that you may have, and parent comments as well. Thank you so much for listening to and watching this video.